Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a hyper casual game in Unity. Welcome to episode 9. In this tutorial we are going to add in a full scoring system. So when we've caught the orbs for different values we're going to add that up into our proper score. And we're going to add in some music as well. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So at the end of last tutorial, we had our orbs falling and currently they fall as they are. And as I always say, it's entirely up to you what you want to do with your game. Um, there's no right or wrong way of, of doing all of this. But now I think about it, I think I would actually like the orbs to disappear um, off screen because I feel it adds just a bit more to it rather than have them linger there. So I'm just going to add in uh, some extra code to the game. And if you want to do the exact same as me, you absolutely can. So in the orb uh, catch script, all we're going to do is just add in uh, some code. So at the bottom here, uh, after the all the if statements, but before the end of the method itself, we are just going to say other. And if you obviously if you've named your um, thing up here any different, it would be different here. Like I said last time, if it's if you called it orb, everything else will be orb rather than other. Uh, other dot game object and it's a lowercase g on this one not the uppercase g like we have with the variables so just keep that in mind that is a little bit different uh, dot set active and in brackets false semicolon and save and we don't need to do anything else now every time we catch an orb it will disappear from the uh, view so it, it looks a bit less there we go so you can see if I can actually catch one there we go. So it just makes way for the other orbs that are coming through. Okay, so um, before we get on to adding all the score up, let's add in some background music to all of this, just so it's not quite so quiet. So let's go to our audio folder, right click, create folder, and let's call this BGM. Again, short for background music. And in here, I am going to bring in this uh, Forest BGM. Now, for those that follow me uh, and know what I do, what I create, you may notice this from uh, the Timmy and Mousy project, that endless runner that I've got going on at this present moment. Although, to be fair, by the time you see this, it may already be out. But this is just a, an audio clip that I've created from that game. So let's add this in now. So in audio, Let's uh, right click and let's create empty. And I'm just going to have this as BGM. I'm not going to create a subfolder for this because I think realistically we're just going to have the same song, but you can have different songs if you want to. It's again, it's entirely up to you. So I am going to drag this onto BGM. Nope, that is not what I wanted. I wanted you to drag onto BGM, not create your own object. I do want play on a week, uh, play on a week, play on a wait ticked because I want this to start instantly. I am going to tick loop because I want it looped constantly as well. And I'm actually going to reduce the volume quite a lot because I think the audio file is rather loud. So I'm going to have this as probably 0.1. And let's also have the pitch a little bit higher. Again, it's entirely up to you. So let's press play and see how this sounds. Gosh, that um, okay, that that got me there. Why did that actually happen? Ah, it's because orb catch for some reason. I must have dragged it onto um, onto there. There we go. Now we have that resolved. There we are. Okay, so I think it's still a little bit loud. So I'm going to reduce that even more. 0 0.06 maybe, and see how that sounds. Okay, that's better. So we'll stick with that. Again, it's entirely up to you what music you want to use here. You don't have to use the ones I do, but if you do, you can download this for free. If you go over to a website, download some assets, hyper casual, and it's there under tutorial number nine. So let's focus on this score now. How can we do this? So the great thing is that we already have the score updater script. So let's go into that score updater script. And the way this can work is we can actually type here in between these two quotes, score. 
and whatever we have in orb score is going to be what the score would be. So ultimately, we need this to add the 1 and 2 and then add a 3 and add a 2 and add a 3 and add a 1. C keep going, basically. We, we don't want it to just display what we've scored. Um, but I think best way for us to probably do this is if we have in our, where is it, orb catch. Rather than just say equal to 1, we can actually go plus equal, plus equal, plus equal and save that script. So all this is doing is every time that a red orb triggers it, it adds one to whatever score updater .orb score currently is. So obviously it starts on zero and it will add whatever has just been caught to orb score. So this updates with the word score and then whatever this would be. So let's make sure all scripts are saved and we'll go back into Unity and let's press play. Now everything we've done should come together. There we go. You see everything is tallying up quite nicely. So this is obviously much better on a um, <laughs> on a mobile device. It's hard with a mouse. But you can see the score working perfectly there. So what I also want to do is I want to be able to determine how many orbs we've actually caught. So what I want to get round to in the end is say you have 10, 20, 30, whatever seconds to catch as many orbs as you can and score as much as you can. So obviously the more greens you catch, the more your score is going to be. So what we need to do for that is let's expand this just a little bit more. So let's go to our canvas. And let's work on this. So we want to expand the, I think it's going to be this panel here, isn't it? The main panel. So let's expand this panel out a bit more. So it kind of almost fills up the entire screen, probably about there. And then this score, let's bring that across to about there and then stretch that across to there. So I'm going to have this here and then I'm going to have a divider which says we've got score there and orbs here. So I'm going to decrease the size of this text probably to maybe 24. So it's a bit smaller so we can fit more of a score there because we're not going to end up with too big a score when we think about it logically because obviously if we're restricted to 30 seconds then yeah we are. Uh, we, we are fairly restricted with our scores. I'm also going to have the alignment center. Um, there we are. So let's take this score display, hold control, press D to duplicate. There we go. You can see I have to have a, a moment to think there. And I'm going to move it to about there. And let's change this to orb display. And let's have this as orbs caught. In fact, um, we may change that because that does seem a bit big, doesn't it, really, for what we're trying to do here. Let's just say orbs. So by default, it's one. Now let's have a split down the middle here. Uh, again, it's entirely up to you if you want to do the same. You can either have um, a, like a, an empty game object, or rather, I say an empty game object, I mean an empty raw image game object as the splitter there, like for example, uh, UI, uh, raw image, and you could just have this as like a bit of a split, maybe there if you wanted to, or you could split this game object, which is the panel. So I'm going to do it that way for now and just see how that looks. So I'm going to have that probably there, duplicate the panel, and move it to there and just shrink it a little bit more. So you can see the split right there in the middle. Uh, let's put that there, rename it panel three, and let's move orb display up to there. So we've got both of them in place. The score's gonna work, no problem now, that's all good. Let's work on the orbs. In fact, now I think about it, I'm gonna be a little bit of a pain there and just kind of shift this along a bit. Sometimes I can be a little bit, you know, it needs to be a bit better than what it is. Okay, there we go. So let's save that. That's fine. So now let's head back into our C-sharp script for the score updater. 
and let's add in another variable for the orb display. So public game object orb display semicolon and we can use pretty much the exact same line here just with a few different things changed. So orb display dot get component spiky brackets text open close bracket dot text equals orbs in quotes and then plus and now we need to create another one and we're going to have this as orb count semicolon and that will be underlined red until we add in the variable for it so public static int orb count semicolon and save so that script is done now that will keep track of our score and our orbs so the last thing we need to do is in the orb catch script add in an extra line of code to say score updater dot orb count plus equals one semicolon and then that in fact that line can actually be placed before the game object is set inactive so every time an orb is caught it will add so save that script head back into unity and then we just need to apply that orb count script uh, object i should say to our global scripts it has appeared there so orb display right there press play and this should work perfectly there we go you can see believe me this is much easier on a touch screen <laughs> There we go. So you can see that we've caught 18 orbs, score 15. So everything is coming together quite nicely. Now what I want to do next tutorial is we're going to add in a font uh, because we want to change how this looks a little bit. We don't want to go with a default font. So let's add in a font. Um, and I think we're also going to add in a timer as well. So the timer is going to allow us to say, we'll have it here maybe uh, time 10 seconds how much can we catch in 10 seconds and yeah we'll work with that timer so until that next tutorial guys thank you very much for watching